today we will discuss about sort select sequence and control statement in the easy tree means how can we use these kind of statement in the easy tree first of all what is sort statement sort statement is used to order any file orders any file which can be processed sequentially you can use this statement if you want to create the sorted output file if you do not want to create the sorted output file if you do not want to create the sorted output file but simply want a report to be printed in a specific order only you want to create a report which have the some specific order then you can accomplish this task using the sequence statement means you can use the sort statement to create the sorted output file and if you want to create the report so you have to use the sequence statement okay so here is the syntax sort file name one to file name two so what is the file name one so this is the input file which has to be sorted this name must have been previously coded on a file statement in the library section of the program and must reference a file type that can be accessed sequentially file name to this parameter provide the name of the sorted output file which you, which output file you want to create if you want to create you if you want to update the inside this so up in inside the input file only then you can you give here file name one also like here it's written if your sort activity is the permanent reordering of one file then name can be seen as the file name one so you can give here file name also if you want to update the same file otherwise what is the requirement so two file has two file requirement must be same as the file name one okay and name must have been previously provided in a file statement in your programs library so both file must be defined in the library program library and then using field so what is the role of this so this using parameter identify the data field within the input file which you can use as a sort key this is the field with these are the fields which you will give as the sorted key and based on these sorted key your data will be sort you can use any number of field for sort key these data field must be defined in the library section before your program can use them and if you have seen sub parameter d so what is the role of parameter d like here you can see like using then you you can give like field name one field name two the field name three but if you want to give d then what is the role of it so d parameter following the field name cause the field to be sorted in a descending order if you do not give the d then what will happen then by default sort will be in the ascending and you have seen one more before proc name we have given this statement also so what is the role of this so this this is the optional parameter which identify a procedure that pre-screen means which it it's pre-screen the uh, records modify the record and select input record for the sort proc name is the name that appear on the input record to your sort procedure one at a time if you use a before procedure a select statement must be executed for each record that you want to sort so this will uh, be like here you can see before proc name so uh, we will we will discuss about this in in the example in the coming example so here you can see jcl with this easy to sort program and the select statement so what is the role of select statement and what is the role of sort program so here we have given this job card and then here is the egt utility then we have given the employee input file and we are we have the output file sort emp okay 
so here we define the uh, like input file and it has two variable employee id and the p gross so employee id start from the one of five byte and of the numeric type and p gross start from the seventh position and it has the seven byte and it is also numeric type so then we define this sort employee output file of 80 byte and then we are using that sort statement here like sort employee input file this is our input file okay and to sort employee sort emp so this is our output file and we are giving here the key based on that based on what we want to sort the uh, file okay employee id and then we are giving here before screener so screener is the proc here so we are using here select so if our pay gross amount is less than 30,000 only those record will come into the our output file okay so we are selecting those record only uh, which have the pay gross less than 30,000 so here like we have one input file we, uh, we have executed our program on this input file and here you can see we have the 10 lakh and 57 lakh so these two record will not be in your output file other record will you see in the sorted order like two and three will be also not there because it has the 57 57,000 200 which is more than the 30,000 pay gross so here you can have two five 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 and then like you, you it will be in the sorted order all data will be in the sorted order then what is the role of sequence statement this is also optional statement specify the order in which you want the content of your report to appear if you don't specify the sequence then data appear on your report in the same order as it appear in the record of the input file so here is the sequence statement and then we you can give the field name and along with that if you want to sort it in the descending order so you can give this uh, descending order then field name to if you want to sort the data based on this in the descending order then you can give here d so here is also seems uh, like job card we have given and here we are using egt utility and then we have the input file employee and sort emp and same uh, in this similar way we have defined the employee and we have defined the uh, variable also input file variable then we define the file output output file with the printer because we are creating the report we here we are creating the report in the sort emp file so job input we have given employee and then print sort report then we we are printing the sort report here we have given the report sort report then printer then our output file name then line size is 8 of 80 byte then we have given the sequence employee id in the descending order like we want the data based on the uh, employee id in the descending order so we have given here d then line 01 employee id what variable we want to be in the report employee id and the pay gross so here you can see this is our output file and you will have all the record here because we have not filtered them here okay so here if you want to filter them you can also filter you can filter before this job input okay uh, and then whatever filter record whatever condition is true like record uh, on which condition is true then that will going that that will be go to print next is the control statement what is the control statement so this is also optional statement which identify the field names on which you want your report to controlled and also it enable you to specify certain certain optional result of the control break processing control break processing one result of control 
controlling report is to produce subtotal so this is the benefit of the control statement like this will produce the subtotal of the value in the field in which you have been specified as the decimal position so whatever decimal position column are there which you are going to print you will get the subtotal also for those okay and like here is the example and we have we have taken employee as the input file and then we are creating the output one file okay and here we have defined the file employee input file and then we have given the variable of the employee input file like first name it like first name start from the first column and it has the six six byte and it is of type of alphabetic and then we are giving the heading first name then we have the second name second name start from the eighth column of the file of the eight byte and of the alphabetical type then employee number it start from the 17th column of eight byte and it is in the numeric format like and we are defining the heading also employee num and same we have defined for the second name also so if you have given here so you will get these in the you will get similar name inside your report also and next variable is the branch we start from the 26th column of 4 byte and it is in it is in the alphabetical order in alphabetical format and we have given the heading for this branch name then we have the salary which start from the 31st column of 3 byte in the numeric format then job category we start from the 35th column of 2 byte and it is in the numeric format then we have defined the working storage variable like old salary in the decimal format and raise percentage it is also in decimal form format of working storage variable 3.2 you can see and raise dollar working storage variable 3 3 packed 2 and total salary also we have defined as working storage variable then we have defined the output one printer means we are going to create the report inside this output one file then we have we are uh, we are we have given the job input employee for uh, file which we want to read then old salary salary so salary data will come into the old salary then based on the job category if it is equal to 10 then we are selecting the raise percentage as 7 if if it is not 10 then we are selecting the 9 raise cell raise percentage after this we are we are we are calculating the raise dollar means how much salary we have to increase like old salary into raise percentage divided by 100 after that in the total salary we are adding the old salary plus the raise dollar then we are printing one detailed report and second report is the summary report so this is the first report and this one is the second report in the same file like here report detailed report printer output one means we are creating the detailed report in the output one file of the 80 byte and here we have given the sequence means we want the data sorted based on the branch total salary will be in the descending order but branch will be in the ascending order because we have not given the d here okay and we have given the control branch okay we want to control the data based on the branch and then we have given the title 01 title 1 like employee detail salary report then title 2 detail by branch descending by new salary and then we are defined we are giving here our variable in the line 0 one, like first branch then first name then all salary raise dollar raise percentage then total salary so here if you will so this will be the data first see your employee file 
like this as the uh, name then second name then employee number then branch then this is the salary then this is the job category so here you can see the first report so here you will see the run date and employee details salary report first first title you will see then you will see the second title first title and second title and here what you will get in the branch name so first we we are controlling based on the branch so you will see chem chemistry and but you have seen you want to sort the like sequence we have given sequence branch and total salary so total salary how it will be like total salary is the 436 to 321 so this is the in the descending order and after that we have the subtotal here for the chemistry like raise salary raise dollar and raise percentage so here you can see like for the siva siva old salary is 400 and how much percentage percentage we have to increase nine percentage so it will be 36 dollar then it has added the 36 dollar in the old salary then you will get the 436 similar happen for the other like sunni and other branches the mca so here mc you can see here is the subtotal and in the mechanical then here is you can see the salary for mechanical branch and here is the subtotal for it then m m m tag okay so here is the subtotal for this and uh, full total is here 2800 total old salary is 2800 and how much total salary raised 244 dollar and how much percentage has been raised 59 59% 59 and and here you will see how much salary has been increased so you will get that detail here 30044 okay so same here like another one we have uh, another report uh, here we have given report summary summary report okay first one was the detail report then second is the summary report we are printing it in the output one file and it has 80 size then we are giving sequence like we want to we want to keep the branch and job category in the ascending order and then we have given here control on the two branch and the job category then title 01 then we are defining the variables which we want in our report okay so same here you can see in the second report okay here you can see like name so here is the job category and then here is the subtotal same you can see here okay so here is the full total for the salary thanks guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel